Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects millions of people around the world. It is characterized by high blood sugar levels, which can lead to a variety of complications if left uncontrolled. One often overlooked aspect of diabetes is the impact it can have on the skin. In this video, we will explore the top signs of diabetes on the skin, so make sure to watch till the end to find out more. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. One common skin condition associated with diabetes is acanthosis nigricans. A study published in the Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research found that 74% of diabetic patients in their sample had acanthosis nigricans. This skin condition is characterized by dark, velvety patches on the skin, particularly in areas with skin folds such as the neck, armpits, and groin. The study suggests that the presence of acanthosis nigricans can be an early indicator of insulin resistance, a key factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. Another sign of diabetes on the skin is diabetic dermopathy. A study published in the International Journal of Dermatology found that 51% of diabetic patients had this condition. Diabetic dermopathy presents as small, round, brownish patches on the shins that may be mistaken for age spots. While these spots are not painful or itchy, they can be a useful diagnostic clue for healthcare providers when examining a patient with suspected diabetes. Skin infections are also more common in people with diabetes. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Dermatology found that diabetic patients were more likely to develop bacterial and fungal infections on their skin. One reason for this increased susceptibility is that high blood sugar levels can impair the immune system's ability to fight off infections. For example, candidiasis, a fungal infection caused by candida yeast, is more prevalent in people with diabetes. Signs of this infection include red, itchy rashes, often with a white, curd-like discharge. It typically affects moist areas of the body, such as the mouth, genitals, and skin folds. Another study, published in the Journal of the European Academy of Dermatology and Venereology, discovered a strong link between diabetes and the skin condition called granuloma annulare. This condition presents as ring-shaped, reddish, or skin-colored bumps on the skin. While it is not painful or itchy, it can be aesthetically bothersome for some individuals. The study found that diabetic patients were almost four times more likely to develop granuloma annulare than non-diabetic patients. Eruptive xanthomatosis is another skin condition linked to diabetes. According to a study published in the Journal of Diabetes and Metabolic Disorders, Eruptive xanthomatosis occurs when high levels of fats called triglycerides accumulate in the skin. These deposits can manifest as yellowish, waxy bumps, often with a reddish ring around them. This condition is more common in people with poorly controlled diabetes, and it usually appears on the buttocks, thighs, or the backs of the arms. Another sign of diabetes on the skin is the yellowing of the skin, also known as xanthelasma. A study published in the Journal of Diabetes Investigation found that xanthelasma was more common in people with diabetes, particularly those with high cholesterol levels. Xanthelasma presents as yellow, flat plaques around the eyelids and can be a warning sign of an increased risk of heart disease in people with diabetes. Digital sclerosis is a skin condition that affects people with diabetes, causing the skin on the fingers, hands, and toes to become thick, waxy, and tight. A study published in the journal Diabetes Care found that 16% of the diabetic patients in their sample had digital sclerosis. This condition can limit the range of motion in the affected areas and may be accompanied by joint stiffness. While the exact cause of digital sclerosis is unclear, it is thought to be related to high blood sugar levels, which can lead to the buildup of collagen and other proteins in the skin. Necrobiosis lipoidica is another skin condition that can be a sign of diabetes. A study published in the British Journal of Dermatology found that nearly 65% of patients with necrobiosis lipoidica had diabetes. This condition is characterized by raised reddish-brown patches on the skin, often on the shins. These patches can become shiny, with a yellowish hue and visible blood vessels. In some cases, ulcers may develop within the affected areas. The exact cause of necrobiosis. Lipoidica is not well understood but it is believed to be related to blood vessel inflammation and damage in people with diabetes. Blisters, also known as bullae, can also be a sign of diabetes on the skin. A study published in the journal Diabetes Care 
found that diabetic patients were more prone to developing blisters, particularly on their extremities. These blisters are typically painless and can resemble burn blisters. While the exact cause of diabetic blisters is unknown, they are thought to be related to nerve and blood vessel damage caused by high blood sugar levels. Itchy skin, or pruritus, is another common sign of diabetes. A study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found that diabetic patients were more likely to experience itchy skin than non-diabetic individuals. This itchiness can be caused by a variety of factors, including dry skin, poor circulation, and nerve damage related to high blood sugar levels. Itchy skin can also be a symptom of an underlying skin infection, as mentioned earlier. Diabetes can affect every part of the body, including the skin. Some of these problems are skin conditions anyone can have, but people with diabetes get more easily. These include bacterial infections, fungal infections, and itching. Other skin problems happen mostly or only to people with diabetes. These include diabetic dermopathy, necrobiosis, lipoidica diabeticorum, diabetic blisters, and eruptive xanthomatosis. There are several things you can do to prevent skin problems. Keep your diabetes well managed. People with high glucose levels tend to have dry skin and less ability to fend off harmful bacteria. Both conditions increase the risk of infection. Keep skin clean and dry. Avoid very hot baths and showers. If your skin is dry, don't use bubble baths. Moisturizing soaps may help. Afterward, use a standard skin lotion, but don't put lotions between your toes. The extra moisture there can encourage fungus to grow. Prevent dry skin. Scratching dry or itchy skin can open it up and allow infection to set in. Moisturize your skin to prevent chapping, especially in cold or windy weather. Treat cuts right away. Wash minor cuts with soap and water. Only use an antibiotic cream or ointment if your doctor says it's okay. Cover minor cuts with sterile gauze. See a doctor right away if you get a major cut, burn, or infection. During cold, dry months, keep your home more humid. Bathe less during this weather if possible. Use mild shampoos. Do not use feminine hygiene sprays. See a dermatologist, skin doctor, about skin problems if you are not able to solve them yourself. Take good care of your feet. Check them every day for sores and cuts. Wear broad, flat shoes that fit well. Check your shoes for foreign objects before putting them on. Talk to your doctor or dermatologist if you are not able to solve a skin problem yourself. In conclusion, there are numerous signs of diabetes on the skin, ranging from the relatively benign, such as diabetic dermopathy, to the more serious, like skin infections and necrobiosis lipoidica. By recognizing these signs and seeking medical advice, individuals with diabetes or those at risk for the condition can better manage their blood sugar levels and potentially avoid some of the complications associated with this chronic disease. It is crucial for healthcare providers to be aware of these skin manifestations to provide early diagnosis and appropriate treatment for their patients with diabetes. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content about diabetes and nutrition. Stay healthy and take care.